Once upon a time in ancient Greece, there was a lesser-known Greek god of love named Anteros. Unlike his brother Eros who was more famous, Anteros was the punisher of those who failed to return the love of others. He not only represented requited love, but he was also known as the avenger for those suffering from unrequited love. Anteros was sometimes depicted as a youth with wings, a bow, and arrow. What's interesting was that he was also associated with butterflies, which symbolized transformation and the soul. According to Greek mythology, Anteros was born from the incestuous union of Eros and his mother Aphrodite. His love with his mother's love child represented the reciprocated aspect of love in contrast to his brother's unrequited love. Eros was always in pursuit of aloof companions, but Anteros was more balanced, representing love that is mutually returned. One story that featured Anteros was the tale of the poet Sappho. Legend has it that Anteros punished Sappho for her strong denial of a man who was in love with her. However, after being punished by Anteros, Sappho finally fell for the suitor and wrote about her experience in one of her poems. Aside from being a punisher of unrequited love, Anteros was also seen as an important symbol of platonic love and deep connections between friends and family members. With his butterfly wings and bow and arrow, he represented the full spectrum of love, from romantic love to familial affection. In the end, while Anteros may not be as well known as his brother Eros, he represents the other side of the love story, the one that is about mutual love and respect. Once upon a time, in Greek mythology, Anteros, the son of Ares and Aphrodite, was renowned for being the playmate of his brother Eros. To ensure that love must always be reciprocated, Anteros accompanied Eros everywhere he went as they were always depicted as winged boys accompanying their mother Aphrodite or other goddesses. Anteros was similar to Eros in every way, except he had long hair and plumed butterfly wings. It was believed that he was armed with a golden club or arrows of lead. According to ancient Greek folklore, Aphrodite once complained to Themis that her son Eros remained a perpetual child. Themis advised her to give birth to his brother. Following this advice, Aphrodite gave birth to Anteros. Whenever Anteros was near Eros, he grew, and if Anteros was away, Eros would revert to his previous, smaller size. One day, in Athens, a man named Timagoras confessed his love to Meles, an Athenian, but was spurned by him. Upon hearing Timagoras' declaration of love, Meles ordered Timagoras to jump off a high rock, and he did. Seized with guilt, Meles decided he cannot live after what he had done, and jumped off the same rock. An altar was erected in Athens in memory of their tragic love story. The altar commemorates the grief and heartbreak that people may experience through love. Plato explained that love's nature and the emotions behind it are the result of great love for a person. The lover, inspired by beauty, fills the soul of their loved one with love in return. As a result, the loved one also falls in love with the lover. They experience pain when the two are apart and relief when they are together. The mirror image of the lover's feelings is Anteros, or counter-love. 